In this video, we will take a look at how to perform insertions into the middle of a linked list. So what do I mean by this? What I mean is, I am going to take two input parameters into my function. The first input parameter is going to be the element I would like to add to the linked list. The second input will be a pre-existing element in the linked list. Now, the function can be of two types, insert after and insert before. If I choose insert after, then the element I wish to add to the linked list will be inserted after the pre-existing element given to the function. If the function is insert before, the element I wish to add to the linked list will be added before the pre-existing element given to the function. So let's take this one by one and let's see how to perform the insert after function. I will write an example on one side and give the program on the other. So let's start by defining the function. It's an insert operation, so I don't need to return anything. I'm calling my function insert after. And now I will take two input parameters. First, I'm going to take the element I want to add. And then I will take the element which is pre-existing. So the element I want to add is el underscore add and the element that is pre-existing in the list I am naming it el underscore pre. So what are the different cases that can occur when I want to insert? So the first thing you need to check is whether the pre-existing element given to the function really exists within the list. So the first case is, what if the pre-existing element is not found in the list? So if the pre-existing element is not found in the list, we don't know which element to add after. So there has been incorrect data given to the function and we would like to stop the running of the program. So the first thing we must do is to search for the pre-existing element. You might have seen in the search functions, we will take in an integer data element and we will return a node at which it is existing. If that element does not exist in the list, then it will return a null value. So let's create a node, say A, and let that be equal to the node which holds the pre-existing element. We have already looked at how this search function works in the previous videos. Now, we need to check whether this element has been found or not. So, we put an if statement. If a is equal to null, this means the pre-existing element is not found. So, we don't want to continue with our program. So, we will return over here. So we've taken care of our first case. The second case is the pre-existing element has been found, but the pre-existing element is the last element of our linked list. So why would this matter to us? Suppose I have a list like this.
So currently I have a list like this and let's say my pre-existing element is 2. So currently my, okay, so we are assuming that the pre-existing element is equal to 2. So in this case, this implies that A is equal to the end or A is equal to the last node. Now, when I insert an element after this node, not only do the pointers change, but the end of the list also changes. So, if we are to add an element after the end, then it is not only the pointers which are changing, but also the end value of that list will be changing. So, we need to look into this case as well. So, when we say we are going to add after the end node, this is the same as adding to the end of a list. So, instead of writing the code again for that particular case, we can just call the function insert at the end. So, let us check that case. If a is equal to the end, then what must I do? Then, this means we are adding to the end of a list or inserting we are inserting to the end of a list in this case we can use our function which we have discussed before which is the insert end function and send our input parameter as the value we want to add to the list And after we do this, we have completed our work and we can return from the function. Now, the third case is when we are actually going to insert to the middle of a list. So, the pre-existing element is in the middle. What I mean by the pre-existing element is in the middle is that the insertion is going to take place somewhere in the middle. So, you know, actually this is not perfectly correct because even if the pre-existing element is the first element, the insertion will still occur at the second place which would be the middle. So, I won't write the pre-existing element here. I'll write the insertion occurs so the insertion is in the middle of the list. So let's look at a case when that could happen. So let's say I have this as my data. I want to add an element after the element 1. So, in this case, the pre-existing element I take is 1. So now I know that this node is equal to A because I have found this node. Now, I want to add the element 3. So, the first thing I need to do is, I need to create a node which stores this element. So, let's say this is at some arbitrary memory location. And currently, the previous and next pointers point to null. So, what is the first thing I'm doing? I am creating a node for the element I want to add to the list. I'm going to call this node B. Okay, once I have created this node B, what I'm going to do is, now that I have the node A and node B, I'm going to name this node as node C. That is, I'm going to say 
node C is equal to A dot next. So what have we done now? We have just named the three different nodes. So this is going to be node A, this is going to be node B, and this is going to be node C. That's all we have done so far. What are the next steps? The next steps are these arrows need to change. So instead of A pointing towards C, we want A, the next of A to point towards B. So what will I do then? I want A dot next to point to B. So what am I doing? I'm removing this from A dot next. I'm giving the value of B. So this no longer exists. A, the next node which follows A is now B. Now, in turn, if, the, if B is to succeed A, we want B dot previous to equal to A. So that we can also imply that A precedes B. So instead of this B dot previous being null, I want the previous of B to point to A. So I will remove this from the previous of B and I want previous of B to point to A. So I want a 100 over here. So what am I doing? I am saying B dot previous is equal to A. I am writing this in one line because I consider this A to B and B to A just one link between A and B. You can write them on different lines as well. But since they are separated by a semicolon, it doesn't really matter. Now that we have finished this part of the link, let's finish the second part between B and C. Now, I want B dot next to point to C because C is going to come after B. So I'll remove null from B dot next and I will put in the value of C, which is 200. So this will point to C. So let me write that. I want B dot next to equal to C. Okay, now that I have done that, now we need to check the link from C to B. I want C dot previous to equal to B, since B is supposed to precede C in the link list. So I will remove the existing value in C dot previous and I will put the value of B, which is 75. And so I have made the link from C to B as well. So what am I doing here? C dot previous is equal to B. With this, I have finished all the links I need to make to insert B right in the middle of A and C. I'm done with my function now and I can return from my function. So this is how you insert after a pre-existing element in a linked list. Soon we will see how to insert before a pre-existing element in a linked list as well.